Hello guys, welcome back to Azure Passion Learning Series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to associate an NSG to Azure Passion Subnet. So let me just go ahead and create an NSG so that we can try associating to Passion Subnet. I'll click on Add and type in Network Security Group. And give it a name Bash and NSG. I'll deploy it in East West 2. Click on create. All right, the network security group creation is successfully deployed. As you can see, there are three inbound security rules and three outbound security rules, which is created by default. If I try to associate this to the subnet, so I'm going to click on the subnet and click on associate. I'm going to choose the VNet where the bashing is already deployed. And I'm going to sub select a subnet, Azure Bashing subnet. So with the default rules, if I try to associate an NSG to a bashing subnet, I get this error. So basically this error says the NSG which I have created bash and NSG doesn't have necessary rules for Azure bash and subnet. So let's see what are all the mandatory rules that we need so that we can associate the subnet with an NSG. We need three rules. One is for inbound, other two is for outbound. So you need to allow port 443 from source as gateway manager so that is the first rule that is used to that is used for control control plane connectivity the second rule is i need an out i need to allow an outbound rule 443 to azure cloud that is used for diagnostic logging purposes and third rule is i need to allow port 3389 and 22 to virtual network and one of the important thing is Theoretically speaking, since we are going to associate this NSG on a virtual network, you can have source IP address as virtual network since the bashin is deployed in uh, a virtual network and destination can be the uh, virtual network tag which you can actually choose. If I select the source IP address as virtual network tag, the NSG association will fail. So let me just show you that in a quick demo so let me click on inbound security rules the first rule is to allow port 443 from gateway manager the source as i'm going to select the source as service tag the source uh, the source service tag is gateway manager and the destination port is 443 i'm going to give it a name gateway manager There is no problem with this inbound rule. So, and again, since this uh, bash is deployed in a virtual network, theoretically speaking, the destination can be a virtual network. But if I create a virtual network tag as a destination, when I try to associate this rule to a or this NSG to a subnet, the association will fail. So, I have, you just need to make sure that the destination is any in this case. Let's go to outbound rule. In the outbound rule, I'm going to make the source as any. Um, so let's just try to make the source as virtual network since the bastion is deployed in the virtual, virtual network and the communication between the bastion and the um, and the other resources are going to happen over private IP address. So let's try to create using source IP address or, or source as virtual network destination as 443. Uh, port and the destination as Azure Cloud. So I'm just gonna scroll down to Azure Cloud and so I'm gonna create one more rule with source as virtual network destination as virtual network destination port as 3389 comma 22 
to switch. So theoretically speaking, these all these three uh, rules are correct. And if I try to associate this to a subnet, bash and subnet, I will be getting an error. So it is saying that the network security group doesn't have necessary rules. As I mentioned earlier, you just need to make sure that the source address has any in the rule, in the outbound rules that you're creating. So if I modify that to any and save the changes, and if I try to associate it back, you should be able to successfully associate. Let me select the bash and subnet and click on OK. There you go. So this is one of the common scenarios where um, where customers are, are you know kind of having trouble in associating an energy. So I thought of making this video. And again, a recap. So basically, you need three mandatory rules that needs to be configured in your Bashin's NSGs. So one is inbound 443 from Gateway Manager, and two are outbound rules. One is to all the Azure cloud with destination port as 3389. Another one is destination to virtual network on port 3389 and 22. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.